Hello students. Let's take a look at this first lab. Lab 1, microscopy use and function. So see, I was already in there. So when I clicked on content, it popped up first. Remember that as you scroll through the content, which is the course itself in the content tab, you get all the lab or all the links. And for this video, I'm focusing on talking about the lab links. Um, so remember, we went through these folders to find our prelabs, and now we are in module two, and we're looking at our labs. And remember that you have to submit your photo to the lab kit verification assignment folders to be able to access the lab assignment folders. And I have to check those in, so it might take me a little while. I try to look for them every day. Um, so we go here, micro cross could be used in function and this opens your HOL cloud okay and as you go through these labs first you always do an exploration and um, this is like a pre quiz essentially testing your knowledge before you start working in the lab then we have an experiment overview. I think it would be really helpful if you clicked into every single lab and took a look at how long they would take and pencil that into your schedule. So you have the day planned during which time you will complete the labs for this class. Here are some supplies that you will provide. Remember that you do not need a microscope these lab documents are supposed to be written to be, quote, agnostic to microscope type. That's the feedback I get when I talk to Science Interactive. But I just want to keep reiterating that you don't need to buy a microscope. You got a pocket microscope in your kit and you have access to the V-scope. OK, and then here are the supplies that you will find in your kit. Um, and then let's go on from here. So we checked out our materials. Again, as I noted, it'd be helpful if you went through the experiment overview and the materials for at least the next couple of labs. So you're always on top of it. Um, so you start to get to know your compound microscope. And this is something you do with your HOL V-scope. OK. And if you're using the V-scope, Simply record that information in panel one. Okay. And here's all the directions on how to. Every, all of these directions can be done with the V-scope. Um, and so when it says to place the letter E slide on the stage, you're going to do that from the V-scope library. Answer the questions. Continue on. Observing the fine details. Okay. Same thing. If you are looking for a specific prepared slide, you are looking in the V-scope. When you get to exercise three, you'll be working on the skills of um, preparing a slide. Um, and so you're going to scrape some cheek cells and prepare the slide. And you have the materials, the slides and the cover slips in your lab kit to prepare the slide and you take a photo of that. Uh, I had one student tell me that their IKI indicator solution model was broken and if that's the case you can continue completing these procedures even if that indicator bottle is broken. That just helps it makes it easier to see the cell because the indicator like aggregates in the densest areas of the cell, which are the nucleus and the cell membrane. Um, so if you have a broken bottle of IKI, please contact Science Interactive as soon as possible. And um, that goes for all materials. If anything else seems to be missing or broken, you need to contact them right away because getting replacement Supplies takes a bit of time, but you should always talk to me when that happens because I'll tell you if there's some like thing you could scrounge up that would just work just fine 
instead of waiting. And then after you do that, orient to the V-scope and make the wet mount slide, take photos, you'll start the evaluation. And then when you're done with the evaluation, you'll be asked to download the uh, PDF file, the final report, and you submit that to the lab in the classroom. Um, but keep in mind, if you just go into the classroom using the assignments tabs here, you're not going to get any of that information that we just talked about. You're just going to get a Dropbox where you are able to submit the assignment. So please avoid the shortcut of just going to assignments all the time. You must go through content to actually receive the content from the course. Let me know if you have questions. Thank you.